What's up guys? This video is going to be exclusively about Windows 11. So there has been a criticism recently about Windows 11. Now I wasn't uh, a big fan of Windows 11 to be honest. When I first switched to Windows 11, uh, the content menu that uh, when you clicked on the desktop, the menu was really ridiculous for me. So I wasn't... I did not get used to it. So I was missing Windows 10's uh, content menu when I clicked the right mouse button. Uh, the, that was the really game-changing feature of the Windows 10 as well as Windows 8 or 7. <coughs> Excuse me. So there, there, there were some uh, pros as well. There were some advantages of Windows 11, to be honest. When I first switched to Windows 11 from Windows 10, uh, I didn't too much realize about the feature that it got. So when, whenever I wanted to uh, change the change the dark theme, this is the feature that's missing on Windows 10. So I was uh, constantly using that feature when I was on Windows windows 11 but somehow i decided to switch back to windows 10 then only then i realized that this feature was missing on windows 10 so when i combined those pros and cons of windows 11 and 10 and uh, i thought to myself that windows 11 is still the better choice for someone like me of course i understand there is still a lot of criticism going on because windows 11 is still raw and for some reason i agree with that but it's still much better i think than windows 10 uh, because of the features that it provides and there has been also a report that said windows 11 is marginally faster than windows 10 and i think that that's a big thumbs up for windows 11 as well but overall i think windows uh, is going to be continuing improving Windows uh, 11 I should say and Windows 10 is also a still a good option for someone who don't want to someone who's not looking for new features uh, I would suggest to stay on Windows 10 but for someone like me like who's always looking for some new stuff when it comes to operating systems I think it's now a good time to switch to Windows 11 and there is also a program that I use it's called WinAero Tweaker if I'm pronouncing it correctly so this is a game-changing um, this is a game-changing platform or a software or a tool I should say uh, what it allows you to do is literally change every settings of your Windows 11 so when if you if uh, you're not happy with what Windows 11 provides right off the bat, you can install this software. I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can download and use. And if you want, I can export the settings that I've done. Uh, as you can see, um, I've changed the contents menu. And one thing that I still don't like is the rounded edges of the boxes, as you can see. I'm not a big fan of it. I like uh, sharp edges of Windows. So this is a pretty, pretty good software if you want to change uh, some default sen uh, settings of the Windows 11. I'm sure you'll find one if you if you used to using Windows 10. There are going to be surprises on Windows 11. So I definitely suggest using this tool. And um, that was pretty much my impression. But myself, I've been using Windows 11 for about eight months, I guess, and I, I like it, you know. I, I'm not planning to switch back to Windows 10 anymore, so I'm happy with what Windows 11 provides. It's stable, it's quick, it's fast, and it's less buggy than it used to be, so I'm overall, overall happy with it. So that was it guys, thanks for watching this video, this was just a quick impression of Windows, this was just a short video of what I think of Windows 11 and 10, and put something 
something in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Windows 10 and or 11. What differences you think? Who should upgrade to Windows 11? Who shouldn't upgrade to it? <coughs> and I'll definitely appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos and stay cool.